Hello my dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. In a rather unusual position today, but this video will be about sitting on the floor, sitting at a picnic in an elegant, classy and feminine way. And as you see, I am already draped with my flowy midi skirt and indeed those types of skirts are among the most uh, practical and the most feminine and elegant types of clothes that you can wear to a picnic when you're intending to sit on the floor because of course you can drape them around you like this you can hide your legs and you can basically sit there like a flower so I would recommend you to also consider the type of clothes that you want to pick for your picnic or for the specific situation in which you are going to sit on the floors. So in general I would say that best clothes that are most feminine and sensual and easiest to handle while sitting on the floor are A-line skirts and dresses like this one that are flowy and feminine. With maxi skirts so long dresses and skirts they are also okay but there you always have to pay attention that you don't sit on the material so i would rather opt for midi length also elegant shorts such as linen shorts that are not too short are good and of course depending on if you want to show your legs because you will see in the different sitting positions that some are more beneficial for the appearance of our legs than others and of course elegant and stretchy jeans are also okay for this occasion close the items that you should avoid when you are going to sit on the floor are of course short straight and tight mini skirt tight pencil skirt low waist trousers or jeans you know why because when you sit down the back also goes down and very very short and tight hot pants so those you should rather avoid so let's start with the first sitting position that i would recommend to you sideways i have put on a linen shorts and also my sunglasses to make it a bit more authentic because obviously i'm indoors and not outdoors but i put on these shorts particularly so that you see my legs and how they are positioned of course when you're wearing a nice skirt and fl or flowy dress it looks more elegant and feminine than wearing a shorts but this is to show you better so basically you kneel down on the floor like this and then you just tilt to the side and sit in a nice sidewards position. Your legs are next to you. You can also use your other hand to give yourself more stability because obviously when sitting sideways you cannot sit without your arms because that's really uncomfortable. I just have some white moccasins here. You can of course wear sandals or whatever shoes you will be wearing. That's not that important here because in this video we are focusing on movement and on positioning posture. And um, what is important here that you hold your legs together and relatively near to your body. And when you are wearing a skirt, make sure that you tuck the, the excess material behind you or under your knees, depending on how much material there is, so that it doesn't look awkward. If you stretch the legs too much and you will not only occupy too much space, but it also looks strange. So maybe it might look uh, sensual and feminine for a photo shooting, but for sitting on in the park at a picnic, it's not very beneficial for you. So rather keep your legs close to your body. And this will also create a very nice and feminine silhouette. And you can also do things, so move like that. Number two, the Japanese style. So here you can see of course it is again doesn't look very pretty with the shorts it always looks prettier when you have some nice skirt material draped around your legs but to show you you simply kneel down and sit down on, on your feet like this i think this position is quite 
self-explanatory and quite known. And the advantage of this sitting position is that it looks modest and it is quite comfortable up to a certain point because of course you cannot sit forever in this position and you will have to change positions but in the beginning it is actually a quite practical position and you can also drape your um, skirt or your dress nicely around here and you will again sit there like a flower in the grass. And another advantage of this position is that it takes up very little space. So you don't need space for your legs, like for example in the side position. The next position is the so-called half-crossed leg. So it looks a little bit complicated. It is actually more suitable for trousers and jeans. Because in order to sit like this, you have to tuck one leg under the other thigh and also keep it as near as possible to your thigh while the other leg is still pointing upwards with the knee pointing upwards and while this position is quite practical because you can sit quite stable in it and also the leg that's pointing upwards can create a nice silhouette especially when you are wearing trousers but also when you're wearing a nice skirt you can somehow drape it around but I don't consider this position as the most um, comfortable one, depending on how flexible you are or how experienced in yoga you are. For me personally, this is not a comfortable position, but I had to include it in this because it is a possible and still elegant and feminine sitting position on the floor. The fourth, pos the fourth position is basically sitting with your legs straight. And again, for me, this is not a comfortable position, but if you have a good flexibility, then you can sit like this or also when you can lean against something. So it is rather a good position for variation, but not the best one to look feminine and elegant while sitting at a picnic on the floor. I personally would recommend you to use the first and the second position mainly. So the side position and the Japanese style sitting position. Because those two are actually the most comfortable and the most graceful and feminine positions. And the third and fourth, so the half crossed leg and the straight leg with the crossed ankle position, they occupy quite a lot of space and might not be the most comfortable positions for some of us. So you can of course use them because they still look elegant and feminine, but maybe use them in between to alter or to change positions. Because no matter what sitting position of those four you choose, you won't be able to sit for a very long time in any of those because it's simply uncomfortable. So just use all four of them or maybe two or three of them depending on which one you like best and which one are best with your outfit and alter them a little bit. Something that is very important for all of those positions is also your upper body. So try to always keep a nice elegant and feminine posture meaning that you keep your, your shoulders rolled back and down and don't slouch your back or round your shoulders too much. Just keep your chin upwards and back in a confident and elegant way. This way all of the four positions will look very beautiful. And now I will tell you which positions you should avoid when sitting on the floor because those positions will not look very elegant and feminine. So the first position is the so-called lotus sit or yoga sit. So it's this one and maybe you already see what I mean. Of course this is a very convenient position and it's quite comfortable but the fact that our legs are apart in that sitting position, no matter if you are wearing a short or a long trousers like a jeans or even a nice flowy dress that is simply draped around the, the sitting position, it still doesn't look very graceful and feminine. And that's simply due to the fact that your legs are split apart. And the other position that I find very 
unflattering and you should avoid it is the frog position like this basically so it's like the japanese style but with your legs apart please don't do it even though you might wear big maxi skirt and this kind of sitting position seems convenient to you it really doesn't look elegant and it's really not feminine and flattering basically avoid all positions that are somehow with your legs apart and even though you might be wearing something that hides your position underneath your clothes you will still be a lady so you should still pay attention to a good and graceful posture because it will show also through your clothes so simply sit as if you would not be hiding anything just sit in a nice and elegant position and then you will also feel feminine and graceful so my dear viewers if that video was helpful for you give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of that kind of content make sure that you have subscribed to my channel of course it's free and you can click the notification bell so that you will be notified when i upload something new i will link a video here for you which i would recommend you to watch because it also be useful for you with regard to sitting in a graceful and elegant way in specific kinds of clothes. I will see you there and bye bye. <laughs>